everybody, uh, one more pants related review that I'm going to do. I have another pair of pants that I haven't yet reviewed, but they're old and they're not that nice, so the heck with them. But I'm definitely going to review these guys. These are my 2008 JT pants. I forget specifically what type of JT pants they are. They're the ones with the big knee pads. They're not the JT teams that have like the JT grayish knee pads, they're the other ones. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about these guys. First, uh, we'll start with the waistband. You got these Velcro pull tabs on either side. That's nice, so they're pretty adjustable, um, which is good. The belt loops and the bands and everything are not as thick or as meaty as a lot of other uh, pants that you can get, specifically things like the DBDs or the BT Pros have really thick, you know, solid bands here. These are kind of narrow, you can't fit much of a belt through here, but it's still, you know, it, it does its job if you want to wear a belt. Um, the fly here, you've got Velcro and buttons and then the zipper. Okay, so you have Velcro in here, buttons, zipper. You also have another set of buttons, so two sets of two buttons, four buttons total. Pretty good. That's nice, and it's a little bit padded. It's not as it's not padded as much as like the BT Pros or the DVDs, but it's got a little bit of padding, which is better than nothing, right? All right, so you got uh, you got that. You got pockets. We got pockets right here. Standard pockets, no seals or anything. So you wouldn't want to put them like in. Uh, you wouldn't want to put anything in there, like your wallet or keys or something in game, because they'll probably fall out. But, um, that's fine. No pockets on the back, okay? You don't have any pockets back here. Nothing there that's just flat. That's fine, though. Down on the side, you've got these little weird Velcro, um, cargo pockets. They're not full, they're, they have like this angle going on. It's kind of, I don't know why. Um, so these weird shaped pockets, they're not really practical. I feel like having this, like, L-shaped thing that holds them closed. But, I mean, it's at least it has a Velcro pocket, which some pants don't have at all. So, you have one pocket. I wouldn't really trust it because it's only two little bits of Velcro that hold it closed. It's, you know, one little bit there, one on the other side. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. Working a little further down here, you have the knees. And the knees are pretty good. You have nice, big knee padding here. See, it goes from up here all the way down to here. It's a big football-shaped padding. Um, and show you the whole leg there so you can see just the, the extent of this padding it's pretty thin though it's good enough for a speedball field on you know turf or something if you're going to be sliding and going down on a knee that's fine but this really can't stand up to like woods ball um one of the big games that i used these at was a castle conquest at emr if anyone's familiar with that and my knees were really beat up after spending the day kneeling you know, on the wood that makes up the castle. That was really rough by the end of the day. So these knee pads, they're decent, but they're really not sufficient for that kind of stuff. Um, and then down, you go down here, you have um, the cinch straps around the cuffs, which is nice, around the ankles, and they actually lock in place. There's a little loop there, so they don't, they're not, you know, swinging all over the place, which is cool. That's a nice little feature that most pants don't have. That's good. Um, Another thing that I can't really show you directly, but um, something that I like about these is the way they fit, the, the, the design, the feel. It's a lot of paintball pants have that baggy feel, and these don't have that. And I really like the fact that they don't have it. They fit more like normal pants or BDUs, which I think is a lot more comfortable than that baggy feel you get with a lot of type of speedball pants. So that's a good thing. Also, I didn't show you before, there's some venting in here, so you got some stretchy material. Okay, that's good and um, some venting behind the knees, just a little bit of mesh back there. Not a lot, just a couple of inches in a band, but it's something. Um, but these aren't all that thick to begin with, so they're not terribly hot. One modification I made to these, normally, right over here, you'd have a big obnoxious JT logo, big glossy white and black logo on either side. I took that off. I just cut the thread and peeled it off because that was obnoxious and I got rid of it and it looks a lot better without the logo. So that's my review of JT, I think 2008, I forget what type of pants. Overall, pretty decent, not great, but um, you know, they're dirt cheap now, I think. I think I probably got these for like 30 bucks maybe. So they're a decent pair of pants for the price, um, but I think there are better options out there. So that's my review of those. Thanks for sitting through yet another uh, review of uh, pants that I've done. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.